Edustaja Delitska. Madam Vice President, I wonder how much does this debate differ from the last one that we had, or from the one before, the one before, and I'm afraid that the next debate will be a repetition. I mean, one time it's going to be rockets, uh, uh, terrorist attacks, stabbing, uh, new settlements. Uh, each of us will have his own or her own perception of what is going on. I must say that uh, I uh, do very much appreciate what you have said in terms of the responsibility of Prime Minister Netanyahu and also President Abbas. And I think that uh, this is really something that we need to see delivery from both of them. And I wonder in this respect when uh, finally President Abbas will have the ability to basically administrate Gaza as well. Now, having said this, uh, and I think that in terms of uh, evaluation of what is going on, I very much agree with you. And I also very much appreciate what you said in terms of the three elements and the entry points. My only question really is, if one or the other or both fail on the deliveries, do we have the courage, the ability, the unity to provide the right reaction? I believe we have the means, and I think that we should have the rest as well, and I very much trust in your leadership in this respect, that together with the Quartet, we really will manage to get these two sides to direct negotiations. One has already declared readiness, the second one should do the same as soon as possible, and I think that unless they deliver, I think we should have another proper answer. Thank you. Now, Deputy Sully Kiotis. Kiria Morcherini, we need to see the end of the political exit. 21 years later, the aim is that the Oslo has died. The aim is that the aim is that 